Brandon Gaughton, Charles Davis ready for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a peek at some of the big players in today's game. And you're a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. down throw for Newton over the middle that's caught by Rice and they're able to get this one across the 35 12 yards there as they move the chains well clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height sit back in the pocket fired over the middle that makes things tougher defensively doesn't it it really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back and, and that's caught inside the 35 that one goes for 38 yards, and it'll be a Carolina first. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. A near turnover, but the offense recovers it. Now they'll try to regroup on second. On second down, here's Newton. And he checks this one down to Williams. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. A couple of Bills team up to bring him down there. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. Now Newton steps away to his left. A strong running. <laughs> and he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Newton on third down. And that is incomplete. Jerry Rice, the one he was looking for. And it's now fourth and three. Now they've got to be a little frustrated here to not complete that on third down after having such a long drive going. I mean, you're talking about going over 70 yards on the drive. Yeah, did you say a little frustrated? <laughs> Very frustrated. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm very frustrated. There's no doubt about it. They thought they were going to have a chance to cash in in the end zone. Now it looks like it's likely a field goal attempt. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Mike Daniels able to run him down for a loss of a yard. So, Charles, they wanted seven on that opening drive. They didn't want to settle for a field goal. Felt like a tone setter. You know, that's what they were looking for because a lot of teams, they, they, they'll march it downfield, and when they kick the field goal, 
it almost feels disappointing, doesn't it? You have a nice drive. Yes, sir. I think this team decided, guess what? No matter what, we're going for the six. Try and put those points on the board and settle back on their heels. But unfortunately, that mentality did not work out. So second and ten here. Ready to throw on second down. Goes underneath for Bell. And he'll be out of bounds, getting it across the 25. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Third and 11, five in the secondary now. Nickel look. This is Bell on the dump off. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Julio Jones, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7-0 lead. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gaughton with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. How many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. To throw, it's Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. They'll come out in the pistol. Here's Brady to throw. Des Bryant, the intended receiver. And that brings up fourth down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Trying to hit the tight end, Bennett, but it's intercepted. A great read, in the and he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And 
some people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation, turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now Brady, trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the Bills offense comes out ready to take over. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. Mm -hmm. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. Now Brady, Jordan Reed was the intended target. Third down here. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Short throw pick.